kind of led to your decision to, to come here? Uh, it's home. Uh, it's, it's about as simple as I can put it. Uh, opportunity uh, to work with Coach Odom. Um, you know, we've known each other, uh, obviously, from our playing days. But uh, in the profession, we've gotten to know each other from a, a football standpoint as well. And uh, I knew that someday we worked together. We just wasn't for sure when. And uh, the timing was right to come back. What What was the process like of, of, you know, when he offered you the job and, you know, going through? I'm sure there was um, some, some tough moments when you're trying to decide whether to stay or go and leave mm-hmm. TCU. Um, Really just making sure that we were on the same page about what the expectations would be and and what he would have expected from me as well as what I would expect from him being the head guy and and, and where, where, you know, I wanted my career path to go. And so once he sat down and ironed a few things out about what he had expected out of the program and what he wanted to to have out of me as as the defensive leader, it wasn't a doubt in my mind that, that the time was right to come join him. How much of a say will Coach Odom have in the defense? Uh, Coach Odom has assured me that it's hey, it's your room. And uh, I told him, well, I'll lean on you too. Uh, I didn't want him to alienate himself and think that he couldn't be involved. Uh, he's the head coach, so he has a, the, the right to be not only in the defensive room, but the offensive room if he chose. So uh, I'm excited to work for him and work with him uh, in whatever input that he would have and uh, feedback, uh, I welcome. He told us last month to just assume that if a if a call worked, he had made it, and if it didn't, <laughs> you had made it. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, you know, <laughs> he's the head guy, so whatever he says goes. But no, he, he he's done a he did a great job in Memphis. Uh, he's did a really really good job here this past season. And so, uh, like I, I mentioned before, uh, I don't want to come in and try to reinvent the wheel, but I want to come in and try to put my own twist on things that I've learned, but also. Uh, continue to work with some of the things that have been successful here uh, with the defense. So it's just about finding the right blend and mesh to make sure that me and the coaches are all on the same page. Yeah. You, just, you yeah. said you already talked with uh, Charles Harris a little bit, uh-huh. and he said you, you, like you saw a lot of uh, you and him. Why? Mm-hmm. why? He's he's quiet, you know. At least at least off the field, from what I know him, he's just kind of really quiet and direct. And I think his mind is just wired on football and. Uh, it's rare to find those kind of guys that, that, that really, really just want to go out and, and play the game and try to better themselves. Uh, I'm still getting to know the young man, but uh, the few conversations that I've had, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that I got a, a, a whole defensive side of guys like that, especially up front from what I hear. Uh, these guys play so hard, and the guys in the past did a good job of getting their motors to go, and uh, it's our responsibility to make sure they keep, keep running high. How excited are you to work with a top 10 defense? Very. Like I said, many most coordinators that are coming in usually are inheriting bad defenses or something's happened that uh, has caused cause for change. But in this situation, uh, it's really nice to know that you got some pieces to work with. Uh, by, by no means does that mean that it happens automatically. We still have work to do, and that's my message to the players is, yeah, we know that we were top 10, but now – Let's stay there. How can we take it to a new level? Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just about making sure we get everybody on the same page. You, you've got a 4-3 background. Is that what you're most comfortable with and what you expect to base out of here? Uh, you know, we'll talk about those things as a staff. Uh, obviously, I want to do what's comfortable with me, but sometimes it calls for a little bit of, you know, if there's some things that I have to adjust, uh, I'm willing to do so as well. And uh, until I get with my staff and, until we get a chance to really talk about what works best for us, uh, then that's what we'll do. We'll do whatever we have to do to make sure we have uh, the best game plan, the best uh, calls and, and package that we have to have on game day. So does that, does that mean you, you'd be comfortable running a 3-4 as well? I've run a 3-4 before, okay. uh, but my history and background has been a four-man four front. So uh, the three-man front doesn't make me uncomfortable, uh, but it's, it's just a matter of what takes away what offenses do best. And that's where studying and, and, and trying to find out what your kids can handle uh, comes into play. I don't know the IQ of our football team. I don't know if they can handle two different fronts. I don't know any of that. So until I have a chance to, to, to get with Coach Odom, my staff, and the players and figure out what the football IQ is, then I'll have a better feel for that. You excited to be home? 
Absolutely. Yeah, this this is uh, it's a dream come true. I mean, it sounds a little cliche, but uh, for a guy that, that grew up in St. Louis and played Missouri football uh, uh, and then played collegially here as well, uh, it's something special to me. But um, when it gets down to it, it's ball. We, we, we have to coach. Uh, we have to coach with energy and we have to get the kids to play hard. And uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dream come true for me.